1924-25 Invincibles were the first All Black Test side to play at Twickenham in London. And even though they played most of that match with 14 men, we're able to win by 17 points to 11. Since that game, 85 years ago, the All Blacks have played England here a further 17 times for 12 wins, one draw and four losses, the last of which was way back in 2002. So we come to 2010 as Graham Henry's All Blacks embark on yet another attempt at a grand slam of wing, wins over England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. It's a test debut for Sonny Bill Williams, a first test start for both LB Matthewson and Sam Whitelock. And there is Sonny Bill Williams. A surprise to many that he's been given a starting role in this game. It was felt that maybe he would come through the reserve bench, but no, the selectors have been bold. Dan Carter has the ball and the 34th test match between the All Blacks and England is underway and Shontane Huppy takes the first kickoff and down he goes right on the 22, the tackle made by Kevin Mialamu and away it goes to Brad Thorne, it could open up here, Muli Aina gets it across to Williams and Sonny Bill Williams almost on the 10 metre line, now Nonu, Rokafoko, bit of space, calling Sonny Bill Williams onto the inside, pops a pass to Nonu. Good tackle on him though by Laws. Off it goes to Nonu, to Williams. Now Gear. Snapped up by Williams once more. Now Matthewson works it across to Williams, puts it onto the boot, stabbing it through there. And snapped up by Mark Quito. And Matthewson reaches in just on the all black side of halfway. Carter gets it across to McCaw, shovels on quickly, spreading it wide. Here's Williams in a little bit of space, gets it off to Muli Aina, calling Gear on the inside again. Jose Gear showing great power as uh, Tyndall bounced away. Snapped up here by Williams. Now it's with uh, Kieran Reed once again. 16 minutes gone in the game. Whitelock off the top, Matthewson for Carter spreads it wide to Williams Williams goes, offloads beautifully to Jerome Kano and Muli Aino, he was there but he's given it off to Gear and Jose Gear try is given let's have a look yes it is from the back with Rocafoco fires it off to Williams it's a horrible pass and he had no chance of pulling that in Youngs has got flood away to his right once more. Now here's Foden. Good tackle by Sonny Bill. Got up and wasn't held, so he went again. Matthewson, slight hesitation. Back to Williams. Oh, nice. Not a good pass. Awful pass. Carter did well to recover. Off it goes to Carter. Carter wide to Williams. Tracked across by by Tyndall but Williams still going got a beautiful pass off to Muli Aina now it's with uh, Nonu Nonu feeding to Rokafoko the kick in field but it's been marked by England and off goes Ashton now it's with Queto England on their own 10 metre line and they get the penalty too Ashton kick and chase not sure that's the right call it's going to drift into touch and in fact the whistle blows the game is over. The All Blacks have the victory. Hard fought it was after leading 17 to 3 at half time. England won the second half, but, England, but the All Blacks won the game 26 16.